When I was born, nature was already dying. As a child, I had an innate curiosity for nature and only just began to understand how fragile and fleeting life is. At the age of five, only half of the wetlands in the U.S. remained. When I was only 10, almost half of the world's forests had been destroyed. By the time I was 20, the world's oceans had over 400 dead zones where no life could be supported. When I turned 26, Tens of billions of pollinating insects had died worldwide. By the time I am 40, half of the Amazon rainforest will be eliminated. By the time I am 50, lions will be extinct in the wild. By the time I am 60, many of the world's glaciers will have disappeared. By the time I am 70, 95% of the world's coral reefs will have died off. By the time I am 80, 2 billion people will not have access to clean water. By the time I am 90, 9 billion people will live on the planet. It would take three entire Earths to sustain them, and we will not even have one. <laughs> By the time I leave this Earth, the nature I knew and loved will be gone. And our small planet, at this moment, here we face a critical branch point in history. What we do with our world, right now, will propagate down through the centuries and powerfully affect the destiny of our descendants. It is well within our power to power to destroy our civilization and perhaps our species, our as well. species as well. But we are also capable of using our compassion and our intelligence, our intelligence, technology our and our wealth to make an abundant and meaningful life for every inhabitant on this planet to enhance, enhance, enhance enormously our understanding, understanding of the universe and to carry us to the stars.